Yo, what's going on guys, Captain Scorch here, and in today's video I'll be doing a small tutorial where I'm going to show you guys how to install mods for Star Wars Battlefront 2 Classic Edition. This will work on either the retail version, which is a DVD, and both Steam and GOG. So the first thing you want to do is head to the link in the description, it's going to take you to either WinRAR or 7-SIP. In this case I'm going to be using WinRAR because it's more like user friendly, and in here you're going to choose uh, whichever one fits your operating system. In this case, in this case, mine is 64-bit. And, and if you guys do not know what uh, WinRAR or 7-SIP is, this is pretty much a tool of extraction that will allow you to extract files and mods in the future. So what you so what you want to do is click on the file and press yes, and then it's going to ask you to install it. So just let it install, and this is 100% safe. And yeah, so once the install is finished, press OK and close, and it's going to close. And now, and you can uh, pretty much um, close this tab here. And now, you're go uh, now the second step is we're going to head to ModDB and we're going to search up the unofficial version 1.3 patch version 129 final. So eventually, what this is. Um, it's, this is basically a patch for the game that will allow you to play all the known mods for Star Wars Battlefront 2 and you really can't skip this step mainly because this is the most important thing and what you're going to do you're going to click on the download now tab and click to download save file that's out of here and you are going to run the patch press run press yes and now what you're going to do you are going to press on net Net. and here you're going to choose the location for Battlefront 2 in this case mine's the Steam version but I'll be leaving the link um, the the destination for both the D, uh, the retail and the GOG version and press next and here what you're going to do you are going to unselect use the V12 HUD and basically what this is this is pretty much like a blue HUD that's around the screen and I wouldn't recommend using it because it looks pretty ugly to me so it's up to you so um, uncheck this and press next and install we're going to let this install and uh, uncheck readme.tats and finish and now here's what the fun part is now we're going to head to the ModDB website which is downloads and here you can see all of the many mods that are released in Battlefront 2 and the cool thing about this website is that like every few weeks or every few days you, know, you get new updates for new maps or new developments and in this case, I'm, be, I'm going to be choosing the Clone Wars Standard Era 3.0, which is right here. And because this is a big file, I already downloaded this, but if you guys do not know how to download it, it's pretty simple. Just press on the Download Now tab and click to download and press OK. But in this case, I'm going to cancel this. And I'm going to go to my uh, Downloads folder where I have it, and I'm going to drag it here to the desktop. You don't have to do this, but I'll recommend doing it. And now, if you installed either WinRAR or 7-SIP, you're going to right click and you're going to find um, a few books here and you're going to press on Extract 2 Clone Wars Center Era Mod. In this case, uh, it's either um, other name depending on what mod you downloaded and you're going to press Extract 2. I already did this because it's a pretty big, uh, a pretty heavy file and a pretty big file, overall it's 7 gigs. And what you're going to do, you're going to open up the folder you're going to see a three letter uh, folder in this case mine is ABC but it can be anything and you're going to either cut it or copy it in this case I'm going to cut it and I'm going to open up my Battlefront 2 destination in this case you can just right click on your icon and press open file location but if you do not have a file uh, an icon in your desktop you what you can do is you can head to your downloads well or to your computer go to computer local disk C Either case, if you have a 32-bit operating system, you're going to go to Program Files. In this case, I have a 64-bit operating system, so you're going to go to Program Files, X86. And if you have this the retail version, it's going to be under LucasArts and Battlefront 2. And for Steam version, it's going to be on the Steam folder, Steam Apps, Common. And in this case, uh, there's going to be many games depending on how many games you have on Steam. This case, I only have only two installed. And you're going to find Star Wars Battlefront 2, Game Data, and Add-on. And you're going to paste this. 
so that's pretty much it and now i'm going to hop into battlefront 2 and show you guys a little bit of um a tour and show you guys that this is actually fully working and yeah let's hop into battlefront 2 now okay so um so i'm in battlefront 2 right now and what you're going to do you're going to go to instant action and then you're going to you're going to see a few maps that are that are already installed here in this case uh this was the clone wars standard era mod and as you can see here uh, we have uh christophis coruscant apartment mandalore plaza one size please spaceboard monolicit or something like that naboo hangar naboo off the of the ganga uh, Nelvon and many other things so um, so now I'm going to actually be launching a uh, course on apartment uh, add maps and launch just to show you guys that everything is fully functional and that everything is working fine so I just can sit as you can see there we have a picture of the map I might be doing a small gameplay just to show you guys yeah so um, that was pretty much it guys i hope you guys enjoyed it, today's video and if you guys and if you guys want to see more awesome videos like this one make sure you're subscribed to the channel and also support the channel by subscribing and pretty much sharing my channel to other people and also like the video and comment and if you guys want to see more awesome like tutorials like this one uh, just let me know in the comments and i'll gladly make more that was pretty much it guys and i hope you guys are having a fantastic day